Hello there my friends, it's your boy Ivan here. Today in this video we'll talk about a few things that you must check when buying a second hand car. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and thinking most of you came from the other channels, I really appreciate it. Hope you like these videos and uh, you will enjoy the, the content that uh, is about to come. One of the first things you'll need to check when uh, buying a used car would be the disc brakes. As you see on this particular car the disc brakes are a little bit worn off. How you can tell that? Well you see these grooves on them. If you wipe your finger on the disc you will feel it's like this. It has ditches on it and also this metal let's call it lip here. This is a, a, a worn disc and in a couple of Let's say a few thousand kilometers or mile, you'll definitely need to, to change it. If you only change the brake pads uh, and not change the, the worn uh, brake disc, the new brake pads will uh, uh, get worn off much, much faster. The second thing you'll need to check will be all the electrical stuff in the car. Make sure you're pressing every button, no matter what uh, it does, and make sure. It's working because even a small thing that you ignore at some point you'll need it and you'll figure out it's not working remember to check the climate system because the climate system at some point will remain without cooling fluid and you will have to 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 fill it up if you don't want to take care of that expense on yourself right after buying the car make sure you're checking that the climate control it's working nicely and you don't have to, to fill it up with cooling fluid uh, anytime soon. There are some things that you unfortunately cannot check, uh, like timing belt, and for that thing you will need to check the service history. Make sure that the car has all the service history done on time. On a new car, if the buyer wants to keep his warranty, has to do the service checks at specific mileages or every year. Make sure that the service was done correctly at a real, at a real service station out in the, I don't know, my neighbor's backyard. Here in Eastern European countries, a lot of car maintenance is done in our backyard. Depends if it's a timing belt or a timing chain, the mileage difference when it needs to be changed. But make sure that uh, you're not very closely uh, to change that timing belt or timing chain. Uh, if it's already been uh, changed, or at least it's appearing in the service that it has been changed, make sure that the, the owner you are buying the car from has also the receipt for those things, because it could be a fake in the, in the service book. But now most car brands have a digital service record, so you can check the, the service history of a car using that car's VIN number. Also make sure that all the paperwork is correct, that is not a stolen car, check the car's history. Under the hood you could check the battery, make sure it has enough amps. For example in this car, check the timing belt uh, has been changed, make sure that you have enough mileage until you have to make that expense yourself. Check for fluids level. This car in particular doesn't have a, a manual oil check level, it has a digital sensor, but also make sure that uh, it has enough oil. Remember to check for tire wear, or as you see here, in this example it has about 2 millimeters until the, the tire needs to be changed. Also check the tire production year. You really shouldn't go more than four years with the same set of tires. Uh, even if the tire is not really worn off physically, but age is a big factor on tires also. Make sure that, that the production year is not uh, not too old. Usually it's a number like this one, as you can see here, out of four uh, digits. Let me just focus on it, yeah. For example, this tire was produced in August 2014. So now it already has almost five years. It should be changed already. Of course, visually, 
check for scratches, check for dents. If you really do not care about the outside of the car and you are interested in the mechanics of the car to be okay, you can make sure you get a better deal if you find a scratch somewhere on the car. And don't forget to check for rust. Most common places where rust can appear are right above the wheels. More modern cars have plastic fender so you don't really need to check about the, 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 the fender. This place right behind the, the, the wheel also is first to get rust. Also on this line of the door is one of the first places where rust uh, can appear you need to check. Also in front of the car the edge of the bonnet is one of the first places where rust uh, starts to build up because of the constant uh, heating of rocks from the road and salt in the winter getting in the under the paint also for rust you can check under the car another thing you must check under the car to see it doesn't have any jack uh, heads and unfortunately most of the time when that happens they put it under the plastic and it gets uh, dented, smashed and so on. It's, and it's really a difficult place to spot any damage unless you are checking under the car. But you see here, this is the place where you should put the, the jack. This metal and strong. This, this metal rail is the place to, to put the jack, but as I said, some people put it where whenever wherever it's easier for them don't forget to check the smoke that is coming from the tailpipes normally if a car doesn't have any problems there shouldn't be any smoke coming from the tailpipe uh, but if it's black smoke or blue smoke or white smoke it's usually a problem in diesel car black smoke sometimes is normal if it's an older car but not too much smoke obviously one simple way to check if the car has any problem is just wipe your finger off the the edge you see it's pretty clean so uh, it's quite good if it were a car with problems my finger would be black black make sure all the lights work on the car signaling hazard fog lights high beam, low beam, everything. Uh, next week I'm thinking at uh, going at a drag racing event. We'll check there some interesting cars and uh, Eastern European cartooning culture.